Jamie Warner. Well, it was very nice to see at least some sunshine uh, mid to late this afternoon. Also with that, we saw warmer and more humid conditions. It feels like springtime out there and with a spring feel and another storm moving in. We have to be concerned with the threat of severe weather. Not only that, the threat of heavy rainfall and maybe flash flooding. It's been so wet this year so far, and of course the last week and a half, we've seen rain on almost a daily basis. We are primed for some flash flooding, and it looks like we could see intense enough rainfall, especially tomorrow morning. Uh, maybe late tonight through the morning hours for the risk of some flash flooding and a flash flood watch is in effect from 1 a.m. Thursday into the evening hours for most of southwest and south central Missouri back across northwest Arkansas. You can see the next wave of rain and thunderstorms really taking shape now back here along I-35. This activity is making its way steadily toward the northeast. Now I think we're going to stay dry through midnight, but long about two to three o'clock in the morning, the wet weather will spread in and it uh, looks like it's going to make for a stormy start to our Thursday. Now I think initially the storms that we have late tonight through about mid morning tomorrow, uh, they're primarily going to be sub severe and the storms, the strongest storms will be capable of producing hail and there could be an, a few isolated severe storms with large hail, but I think that will be the sum total of the severe weather risk at that time. But after mid morning, as temperatures are gradually rising, the uh, instability is increasing and the severe weather threat overall will slowly increase through mid to late morning. But it's the afternoon. It's it's after lunchtime tomorrow into probably the evening hours tomorrow night that I'm most concerned for some severe weather because as this big wave of rain moves out tomorrow morning, that's going to open the door for some breaks in the clouds, a little bit of sunshine and humidity levels are going to be running higher tomorrow, probably some of the highest levels we We've seen so far this year and that coupled with afternoon highs in the low to mid 70s that's going to make for instability and there's a lot of wind energy also in play in the atmosphere tomorrow afternoon so that's why i'm concerned that we are not only going to find scattered storms but some severe storms and right now the storm prediction center has all of the area either under a slight risk or an enhanced risk for severe weather again i think it's mainly a hail threat early on in the day but an increasing level of instability throughout the morning hours will lead to an increasing threat for severe weather overall by mid to late morning. But it's going to be the afternoon into the evening that I'm most concerned about widely scattered thunderstorms or these small line segments developing across the area that could produce severe weather where all modes of severe weather will be a possibility. Here's our hour by hour forecast Again, quiet through midnight. There's three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> it's getting stormy across southwest Missouri, and northwest Arkansas. That wave of storminess starting to move out shortly after sunrise. You can see up towards central Missouri stays pretty stormy through mid morning. And then we see more of a break by lunchtime. But uh, don't let your guard get down at that point because I think during the afternoon with that instability, we're going to see storms try to flare back up. It's not going to be widespread coverage, but at least widely scattered thunderstorms that could organize into severe thunderstorms. And it looks like that risk for widely scattered thunderstorms will continue into the evening hours, gradually shutting down from west to east by midnight tomorrow night. In terms of rainfall, again, that threat of heavy rainfall certainly there, especially I think south of the interstate where one to two inches of rain may be common through tomorrow morning with locally higher totals of possibility. Temperatures will drop to about 60 for the low with a high tomorrow in the low to mid 70s. I think about 74 here in Springfield. Enjoy the spring warmth. Uh, after tomorrow, we are back to cold weather. In fact, looking at a freeze Saturday morning and a chilly weekend overall. Okay, and what is our viewers club number tonight? The number is 140-996 and our jackpot is $700. All right, Jamie, thank you. you well, a